Hello, everybody. Welcome. We have a very special new moon in Aries at zero degrees on March the 21st. Talk about portals opening, an opportunity for a complete new birth. Zero degrees is where the whole zodiac starts. So we've got the equinox that we're, we're just in the midst of. We've got this new moon at zero Aries. We also have an eclipse coming next month, a solar eclipse at 29 degrees of Aries. So Aries is the ignition key of the zodiac. It starts everything. It rules your first house in your chart. And your first house is about you being born ruler of Aries is Mars and every approximately every two and a half years you go through a Mars return that's why we have the terrible twos around two and a half years is when the child says I want to do it no 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 and all those tantrum energies that is the return of Mars so what's this about it's about your warrior, your survival spirit. Look what you've survived. You've survived COVID, a global pandemic. It's time to remove all self-imposed limitations. Mercury is the esoteric ruler of Aries. Why? Because with intelligent action, you can achieve total freedom and independence and self-realization. So it's really, really powerful. And this zero degrees, hope you like the T-shirt, really just opens the opportunity for you to create new beginnings in every single area of your life. And it's also an opportunity for us really to birth this new earth that we're all wanting to move into. I mean, think about it. Let's think about people. Nowadays, we've got 95 year olds who are lifting weights, who are really strong. This is about miraculous recoveries. People who've recovered from the, the most amazing things where the doctors have said, well, pff, no chance. A famous Aries is Dr. Joe Dispenza, whose work I greatly admire. Uh, Roger Bannister, the man who broke the four minute mile was an Aries. Um, so the energy of Mars in the chart, a strong Mars, especially with Pluto energy going on, is usually somebody who will survive the odds no matter what. So this is an opportunity with this Mars energy is for you to do something you've never done before, to say something that's never been said before, to create something that's never been done before. Really bring out that energy that is unique to you. So let's look at the specific aspects at the time of this moon. What's Mars doing? And Mars is very busy. So Mars is in Gemini at the time of this new moon, sun and moon in Aries. And because it's zero degrees of Aries and Mars is right at the end of Gemini, this is why it's making a square because usually these are favorable signs to be together, Aries and Gemini. So. The square to Mars from the sun and moon means that it may be important for you just to break through something that you've been questioning. You've been saying, oh, I'm not sure. Shall I do this? Shall I not do it? One day you feel like doing it. The next day you don't. It's, it's really pushing you to just break through, break the four minute mile, break your four minute mile. Where is it? Where is that boundary that you say, Oh, I'm really afraid to do this. But you're going to do it anyway. And you're going to take that risk. Yes, that's this type of energy that we're working with here. 
we've got the sun and moon are also square to Neptune. So this may have you just dissipating your energy, just saying, well, you know, ah, you know, your energy may come in bursts. You may have a burst of it. And then Neptune just sort of takes you into a dream world. You go off somewhere for a little while. And then that sun Mars says, come on, come on. Oh, and Neptune says, well, I'd just like to keep dreaming about it. Thank you. So these energies may, you, you, you're kind of grappling with an energy there with the, the square to Mars, but just keep saying, no, I won't be distracted. I won't be pulled off course. No, I won't. I'm going. Mars in Gemini is trying to Saturn. So this is a great aspect. It's asking you to get really clear about what is it that you want to accomplish? What is it that you want to birth at this time? It might be a business, it might be a child, it might be a new relationship, a new career. What is it that you want to break out of? Yeah, because that's really what you do when you break, it's like a, a chick breaking out of its shell. What's the shell that you've created around you and just need to break out of that shell? And you may find that that shell is not as hard as you thought it was. So it's all to do with the power of the mind, esoteric ruler, Mercury, the mental power by your resolution, your courage, your bravery. You can do anything. Think of what Dr. Joe Dispenza did. He was in the hospital. The doctors wanted to do all these surgeries on his spine. And they said, well, you're never going to walk again anyway. And he thought, well, what have I got to lose? So he, I mean, his story is fascinating. I won't go into his story, but just to say that using the power of his mind, he was able to rebuild his spine and walk out of the hospital against all the odds. I'll be interviewing somebody next month, Drew Brophy, um, a COVID-19 survivor of a 28-day coma. And he's going to tell, share his story, which hopefully will be very inspiring. Certainly inspired me and moved me. So can you bring that out in you? We've also got Mars quincunx to Pluto. As I said, Mars-Pluto aspects are really wonderful times for saying, okay, to hell with it. I can do this. I will do this. So it's the power of your will and your mind can be activated at this time and you can be unstoppable. So it's an op it's a birth, it's an opportunity to bring excitement and passion into your life because it really feels wonderful when you've been brave. Yes, you've, you've fought a fear and you've overcome it. And then you're an inspiration to other people. Look at Anita Morjani, who survived all that cancer. Yeah, she was a goner. And now she's back writing her books and telling a story and inspiring others. So this is what we're working with. So it's time for action. Now, now, as Alice in, as the Queen says in Alice in Wonderland, now, now, faster, faster, yeah. So it's time for action. And as you do that, it brings you to life. It brings vitality. Yeah, it's an opportunity to revitalize your whole system. And let's just look a little deeper at the symbolism of Mars in Gemini, because I've been meditating on this a great deal, because it's been in Gemini all these months, months and months and months. It's about to go into Cancer, but it's still in Gemini for this new moon, this, this real important zero degrees Aries point. And to me, one of the ways of relating to it is the very first stanza of the Bhagavad Gita, which talks about this battle that we all have every day between our good tendencies and our bad tendencies. It's, it's what's called the, the battlefield of Kurukshetra. 
And uh, Yogananda writes about this beautifully, Paramahansa Yogananda. Um, it's this conflict between good and evil. He says, life is a series of battles between spirit and matter, soul and body, life and death, knowledge and ignorance, health and disease, changelessness and transitoriness, transitoriness self-control and temptations. And what this first stanza is asking you is on this field of good and evil that we battle every day, which side won on those opposing tendencies? And so this is an opportunity to break through and to become aware of those opposing tendencies and really push through to keep using the good and the positive ones. So this is a, this is a really crucial turning point. Yeah, it's very quite a rare uh, aspect and a rare time. So begin to think of the things that you're battling with and make clear that you're going to take action. And by the power of your mind and your will, you will overcome. And as Mark Twain beautifully put it, it's not the size of the dog in the fight. It's the size of the fight in the dog. And haven't you seen that? These tiny little dogs, and they're often incredibly strong, and they'll go after the biggest dogs. So don't make yourself small. You've got the fight inside of you. Looking forward to your comments, your feedback, how this fits into your life and your world. Much love. Bye for now.